What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. All right, welcome back. You can find us on the Twitters at the FF Dynasty. You can find our guest today on Twitters at Angelo underscore fantasy. Again, if you're not if you're not paying attention to what he's doing, he's going to teach you something. So you need to go follow that man. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts on the combine, not necessarily what what these dudes just ran around in in their underwear and what they did and, and whatnot. But what do you what do you use it for? What's the main purpose of it for you? How much credence do you give things like that? Um, do you move prospects up and down according to anything at the combine or uh, th- things along those lines? Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is I, I was a former track athlete. So, I mean, my sport was a combine right? <laughs> all and the th- time. Right? I think so, a lot of people don't understand that like so like that running the 40, there's an art to running the 40. Like if you're yeah, not, if no, you're if you're coming out there and you're getting up at the wrong time or you're putting the head at the up at the wrong time or you're. It's coming out of that stance at the wrong. Like there's so many things that go into it. You take a misstep left to right and drift a little bit. It's just these are all tenths of seconds that we get so caught up in. And it's just like a guy like Jonathan Taylor, who's been in track his whole life, comes out there and he knows exactly what to do. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. And I think the one thing that I've learned in my experience in track and field is everything's a day in time. You know, we, we have to take, you know, the body of work. Um and put that as more of a point of importance as the NFL, as the NFL combine instead of the NFL combine. So I think for me, it's, you know, like a guy's film, their tape, that's much more diverse and more far reaching than what athletes do at the NFL combine. They're not having to think they're not having to react. You know, they're not having to manipulate defenders. They're not having to make decisions. They are just, they just go. And that's not that's not the NFL, right? That's not the game of football. Like you are against eleven other thinking, feeling human beings. On right. The field. And I think for so, some for some players that might be a benefit of 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 you can even is. move faster. And some players that's going to be a detractor, in my opinion. Like some players, just sure. when you get out on that field and you have to do all these, like it's just there's different speeds. There's football speed, and then there's track speed. I think all of these things play into, it. and I don't I don't think enough people really like people are like, oh well he's going to run faster all of a sudden when he's on the field. And it's like, well, I mean, sometimes, yeah. Like, I mean, I was never the best track runner, but if, if when I was playing sports, if I had to catch somebody, I could usually catch them. Like, it's just, it's a different, it's a different flow yeah. in, in my opinion of how these things go. Like I know everyone always uses it. Jerry Rice is a four, six player. Like when he's out on the field, when did Jerry Rice ever get caught from behind? Hardly ever. Like, right. That's it's just different things. True. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you there. No, God, no, for sure. That's a great conversation to have. I mean, it's it's like taking the ACT, you know. I've had friends who got gotten like perfect scores in the ACT, SAT. Complete idiots. The boys dumb up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they're really good at taking the test. Right. You know, for some of these guys, the NFL combine, what we have to realize is, man, this test is millions of dollars. Right. You know, guys like Donovan Peoples-Jones, really athletically gifted, five-star recruit for Michigan, not that great football player, but he made himself a lot of money because he tested well. Right. Some guys have to do that, right? And some guys like Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, who I'm extremely high on, didn't need to test well. We know who right. he is as a player. It doesn't matter. And so that, that's kind of like what you're getting. And right. so there's some guys like Salvan Ahmed, who was the Washington running back, who was uh-huh. projected running the 4-3 range, ran like – Mid four six. Yeah, he was. He, he and it starts slow. to hurt you. You know yeah. that like it's it's very specific to the player. You know if if players choose not to run or right, it doesn't whatever right. And some players hurt their stock because they do run. At some point, a guy like uh, Ahmed there, like there's no way he hadn't run a forty before this. So like he had to know that he wasn't going to run that fast. So why run it? Like and at some right, point, like somebody that. you need somebody in your corner to tell you, hey, Bubba, like, just take this one off. Same thing with DK last year in the three cone drill, like. You didn't know. It's it like, what do you do? Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Like, you, that, that hurts your stock, right? Right. As, I mean, it shouldn't. Dollars. It really shouldn't that much. But if, if you can, if you're putting good stuff on tape and you can play, yeah. then it shouldn't hurt your stock. But I mean, 
Miles Sanders last year, it shot him through the roof. 100%. I mean, guys who don't have a ton of tape either helps you or hurts you a ton because evaluators want to go and look back at, at you and what you did in your body work or just check you off, right? And so like DK Metcalf didn't do too much in Kyle's in terms of breaking out, right? But he ran 4-3-3 at like, what, right. 230 pounds? Right. So uh, that's... that's Looks unpleasant. great with a shirt off. I mean... Yeah, right? Jeez. I mean, so that that's always a big thing. But for me, one of the biggest things at the Combine I always try to do is watch the player interviews. Because it's always super intriguing to hear and listen to the players give answers on pretty hard questions. I mean, you right. get a sense of intellect or lack thereof of a player that he might be bringing to an NFL team. And, and GMs want smart players around their coaches and people who can who can take in and digest information and understand those concepts at a high level because that's what the nfl is these right. are smart human beings on the field yes they're big they're fast they're strong but these are high level these are players with high level intellect and so gms coaching staffs offensive corners what have you want smart people on their teams and it's funny because the guy that we talk about is you know probably the, the best running back prospect in this class jonathan taylor was also the best interviewer unbelievably poised had this charisma about him and it's just you know it makes nfl gms and offensive quarters and puts their mind at ease right and, okay you know feels like you guy. got a really safe asset all of a sudden and now you exactly yeah just you know you can you can feel good about taking this guy with your first round pick or whatever what have you yeah so, no, i feel you um, we when we were doing part. a lot of tape breakdown and whatnot the last couple of years that was always we, I would try to find as many clips on YouTube of, of this guy speaking to the media and speaking about his team and coaches and all those kind of things and just take all that in and watch because that, that's it's huge I mean there's there's sometimes where like you know you can get past the character traits like you know obviously I'm putting Tyree Kill on my team um, but it's like you said if you can get in there and knock that out of the park and just seem like a genuinely good human being and, and a smart guy then it just it really just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside about really putting this guy on your team and, and can definitely give you a little half step up above somebody in my opinion if it was if it was a little close definitely be a tiebreaker yeah def, a definite tiebreaker I, mean, I think i think at that point of that we're looking you know, to check people off the list right so um or solidify their solidify their selection I mean, these are million million plus dollar investments that that these guys are making um, on these prospects so it's really important that the interview process goes well for these dudes and, and that they show well on it